Hi everybody, this is John from OneHourAcademy.com. Welcome to our second lesson on PowerPoint. In this lesson, we're really going to start getting busy and we're going to make our first PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to start with something really simple, a three-slide presentation, just to get your feet wet and to get you used to the feel of this program. So I've got a pretend company called Smart Food Inc. And I'm going to do a three-slide show to explain my expansion plans to potential investors. So I'm going to start with a brand new PowerPoint. And you can see here I've got a, a blank screen. This is typically what you'll see when you first get into PowerPoint. And it starts you off with your very first slide, which is a title slide. It assumes that we want to start with a title for our PowerPoint show. And guess what? They're pretty good at their guess here because this is exactly what we want to start with. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just start with a title. And hopefully you've got PowerPoint ready to go and you've got your first slide up, it just comes up by default like this to a title slide. So um, assuming that you've got that, I'm going to go ahead and type in Smart Food Inc. And my subtitle is Expansion Plans 2012 to 2015. I'm not the world's fastest typist, so hopefully that's fast enough for you and you can keep up with me okay. All right, so there's my first slide, a title slide. Looks very plain, just a white background with black text. We're going to use design templates later on to really jazz it up and make it look better. But for now, I just want to focus on getting a couple of more slides of content. And then we'll go back later and choose a nice design. So for my second slide, I want to have a picture and I want to have um, some points along the side. So to, to get a new slide, first of all, see up here under the Home tab, there's a button right below it that says New Slide. If I press and hold this button, it gives me a sample of the different types of templates that are available. So depending on what kind of information you need to use, you'll pick one of these templates. I'm going to go with the two content template because this is the one I need. So I'm just going to click on that and let go. And there's my second slide. My first slide is here. My second slide is here. It's that easy to switch back and forth. So my title is going to once again be Smart Food Products. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to list all the products that I sell. Okay, and again, this is just all made-up stuff. I wish I had a big company called Smart Food, but I don't. So we'll just make this up. I do have one called One Hour Academy, but I guess I could have done a PowerPoint on that, maybe for another lesson. So I'm getting hungry here, just typing this list out. I've got one more to go. Soft drinks. And there we go. So there's my list of the products that Smart Food sells. On the other side, I have a choice of adding lots of different things. And you can see here when I mouse over the different kinds of options that you have. And in some lessons in the future, we're going to go through some of these in more detail. We're going to start with something really easy right now, which is just a picture. But you can see there's you can insert a table, a chart, uh, something called a Smart Art Graphic, which will be for a future lesson topic, uh, a picture from something saved on your computer, uh, maybe some clip art that's built into the PowerPoint program, or even a, a video, a media clip. So we're going to go with the clip art option here. I'm going to click on this, and when I do, what comes up on the side here on the right, you can see this clip art search pane. Now I've already done this lesson once ahead of time, and I've already searched for the word cupcake, but essentially you just you type in the word you're searching for. You can drop this down, and you can decide what kind of information you're looking for. Because I want a picture, I don't want to include videos or audio in my search. Just illustrations, photographs, that sort of thing. You also have an option here, include office.com content. So assuming you're hooked up to the internet like I am, it'll actually go out to the office.com website and look for a content related to your search. So I've already gone and found the content I want, but I can just scroll here very quickly and you can see lots of different pictures of cupcakes photographs and illustrations. So I settled on this one right here. Now because I've got this content pane, this is called a content pane by the way, and it's like a placeholder for information, text or pictures or charts or, or whatever you want. Because this is selected right now, when I click on this uh, cupcake, um, PowerPoint knows to replace the content pane with this picture. So watch this. Click and there it is. Okay, So it replaces it and puts it right in there. All right, so that's my second slide. Um, I've got one more slide I want to do. And this is a comparison of two charts, or two lists, rather, of information. 
So I'm going to come back over here to New Slide. This is my third and final slide for this demonstration. And beside two content is another one called Comparison. Basically, these two slide types are the same. The only exception is this, this Comparison one has a little space for a title above each side of your chart so you can title each side. So that's the one I'm going to go for. And this is going to be strictly a text-only slide with some information on it. So um, I'm going to just type this up and uh, you know I'll go as fast as I can. Um, actually, what I might do at this point is I might pause the video and, um, and type up the information and then come back to you with it. Well, I'll start with, I'll start with what it's going to look like here first. So I'm going to just type a title, International Expansion. Okay, so that's my main title. Over here is going to be a subtitle that says where and when. And on this side, I'm going to put why. Okay, so I'm going to start with a list over here. So I'll just do like the first two items here. Hong Kong, comma, four months. And if you press enter, you get another bullet point. You saw that on the other slide as well. Paris, six months. Okay, over here, I've got uh, one of the reasons why. People are eating healthier to reduce body fat. Okay, so there is some more information, and I, I do want to put it in just to have a more realistic slideshow. But rather than have you watch me put it in, I'm going to pause the video now, put it in, and then if you wanted to add that as well, you can you can pause it and put it in yourself. Okay, so I'm going to pause just for a second here. Okay, so I'm back and I've added a few more points. I left the last two points on each side unfinished so that I could record myself finishing this off here. So you may want to pause it at the end of all of this if you wanted to get caught up and have yours look exactly like mine. Or you can put your own points in. This is all for learning anyway. And I've got one more point to put over here, which is that people want low fat, low calorie foods that taste great. Awesome. Okay, so there, that's the end of my three slide presentation. So you can see we have a title slide and we have um, one point with some pictures and, and, and lists of food and then a second a third slide rather with a comparison slide. So the next thing you'd want to do after you've got some of your content in, and you don't necessarily have to wait till it's all in, but I recommend at least a couple of slides just so that when you start playing around with the design templates, you get a feel for how each template's going to affect your content. Because some of them honestly will really mess up what you've got on your slides. So you gotta be careful not to choose one that's going to wreck everything that you've worked so hard to put together. And it's better to make these decisions early on in your presentation. But so after a couple of slides like we've got here is a good time to make that decision. So I'm going to go over here to the design uh, menu item and that brings up the design ribbon and you can have a lot of fun here. So just by hovering your mouse over these different templates you can see how it quickly just updates and changes the look of your of your presentation. And honestly, each one of them, you don't recognize your presentation after it's done with it because it just does such dramatic things. And there, there isn't really a right one or a wrong one. It just depends on what kind of presentation you're going for. Remember in my first um, lesson, I talked about who your audience is going to be. You know, are you presenting for clients, your boss, friends and family? Do you need something that's going to be fun and whimsical or something that's going to be a bit more mature or uh, serious? Okay. So because I, I guess I'm going to settle on this one just because, you know, I think smart food is wholesome food, it's natural food. And to me, this template sort of speaks natural. It almost looks like a nice natural canvas and, and like a wholesome brown whole wheat type of colors. So I'm going to just pick this one arbitrarily. But watch what happens when I, when I select it. It applies to all of my slides. Okay, so if I come down to here and I come down to this one, Okay, so I guess it didn't do as much of a dramatic change on these other slides. Let me try one other design here. Okay, so that one's a little bit more uh, dramatic, I guess. I was expecting this template here to, to put a lot of that background on all the other slides, but I guess they reserved that for the title slide. But you can see here how, you know, I can just keep doing this. I can just change it to different ones. And uh, depending on which one I choose, 
it will uh, give me a totally different look and feel. So uh, actually, the first time I did this for practice, I did settle on this blue one here. I really did like this one. Okay, so we have we have sort of a nice, natural, wavy blue. Again, it kind of speaks nature to me, so I think this is a good one to pick as well. Okay, so that's the one I'm going to go with. The other thing I want to cover in this lesson is what's called transitions. So I talked about this in the first lesson briefly, about how it animates from one slide to the next. And if I click over to the transitions menu item, here's the transitions pane. And you can basically click any of these, and it'll give you a sample for what it will look like if you're going from one slide to the next. Now, in addition to these different effect options, and you can click these arrows, and there's even more options here. Okay, almost too many to, to choose from, really. You can have a lot of fun here. So I'm going to just choose Cover because I want to choose something and just, you know, get on with the next part of the lesson. So the other option that I want to focus in on here, and there's lots of them, but another important one is the duration. How long do you want it to take to get from one slide to the next? So if you want it to be dramatic, you know, you could, you could bump that up to, say, two seconds, and then it's going to take a lot longer to get there. If you don't want to wait that long, you can bump it down to, say, maybe half a second. So it's a bit more subtle and it happens a lot faster. Okay, so that's basically uh, the decision you have to make. And once, of course, you've decided on the transition that you want to use and the duration, you want to click Apply to All so that all three slides have that same transition. Okay, so the next thing to do, or the final thing, I guess, if you want to see what this looks like live, is you're going to go to Slideshow and you're going to play the slide from the beginning. Uh, now, I can't do that with this recording because I'm just recording PowerPoint in design mode, not in run mode. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this now, and then I'm going to add a separate piece at the end that shows you what we've done as a complete slideshow. So uh, hold on to your seat, and uh, we'll get back to you with the finished product. But that's basically all I want to cover for this lesson. So hopefully uh, you got that working for yourselves, and uh, you learned a lot here, and there's lots left to learn in the upcoming lessons. But stay tuned for the live preview of what we've done so far. So here's the live three show presentation in full screen mode. As I go through the slides, you can see we've got the transition going, which is a card flip that takes only half a second. So there's the second slide and the third slide coming up there. And that's it so far. So this is John from OneHourAcademy.com. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I hope to see you back for lesson number three.